first time I saw Centauro was, I think, in 1965. And we were juniors at Highlands, I think we were under 14. And we would train at Belfort Park at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon until uh, about 5. And then we would simply wait until 6 o'clock for the first team to come. And we couldn't wait because we were an arm's length away from our heroes. George and Walter de Silva were the first two Brazilians that ever came out to this country. They joined the great Highlands Park side of 66. And, you know, they had Scotchmen and Englishmen and people from Wales and South Africans. Uh, but they didn't have the flair of the Brazilians. And Walter and George just put the icing on top of the cake as far as I'm concerned. But George was this midfield player that controlled the game. He slowed it down when he wanted to, he quickened it up when he wanted to. I remember one once watching at the Rand Stadium and they were playing Southern Suburbs. And Southern Suburbs were a very, very physical side and Highlands beat them 7-2 and George was absolutely magnificent. I mean, he, he, he got the ball up, uh, like it was yesterday. He put it on his knee, the guy came to tackle him, he flipped it over his head, he turned around, he came to tackle him again, he flipped it over his head again and he volleyed the ball to Freddie Kolk who scored the goal. So those type of memories, you know, you can never forget and they were special players. And you're never going to get another side in this country ever like that Highland 66 side. And I remember sitting in the stand and watching Highlands against anybody and people would have a bet and the bet wouldn't be would Highlands are going to win or lose, the bet would be how much are Highlands going to win by.